Tonight we'll be dropping down into the 40s. For some places, you could hang on to 50 degree weather if you're watching in Killeen, Temple, Marlin, maybe even 55 for Cameron and Huron, but the rest of us should be dealing with the mid to upper 40s. Now tomorrow it's going to be basically just as warm as it was today, if not a little bit warmer. I think maybe this model rating for 82 is a bit ambitious, but upper 70s for sure for basically everyone. 78 for Waco, Marlin, Grosbeck, 79 for San Saba, also 77 for Burnett. So again, it's December now, at least that's what the calendar says, but it's not going to feel like it for a little while. In fact, those high temperatures over the next few days are, uh, well, they'll be in the 70s through Sunday. So we get about the mid 70s for the next few days and that could come with a little bit of rain through Friday, Saturday and Sunday before we finally see a cold front work through the area sometime on Sunday, giving us a brief cool down to 61 degrees on Monday, but that may not last long. Southerly winds should help us reach the 70s again on Tuesday and then back down on Wednesday. This particular scenario will depend a lot on uh, just when that next cold front comes through, uh, but a lot of that remains to be seen at this juncture. We could have a little bit of fog to start out tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it will be a partly cloudy day, so not quite as sunny as today, but it will be nice and again on the warm side. Looking at Friday, though, we start to really see some thicker cloud cover, uh, but that also will help bring at least a couple showers to the area. I'm not expecting very many, but just an isolated shower or two cannot be ruled out on Friday. Either way, though, we're still dealing with those temperatures in the 70s. As for the next 10 days, like I said, through Sunday, we have this warm weather in store. Sunday could bring a shower and maybe a thunderstorm or two before that cold front finally pushes through, giving us 61 degrees on Monday, partly cloudy, and it will be a windy one. Northeast winds at 20 miles per hour. After that, there's still some difference as to when we could see our next cold front. Could be sometime Tuesday or Wednesday with a shower or two with temperatures fluctuating between the 60s and the 70s.